In this video, I'm gonna show you four different styles of margarita that I think you should know. Spicy, skinny, Cadillac, and Tommy's margarita. Actually, for the spicy margarita, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite hacks, so you don't wanna miss that. Let's get into it. Okay, so before I begin, I just want to give you a brief history on the margarita. There are so many different stories and so many people claiming to have created this cocktail. One of them saying that it was created at Berta's Bar in Mexico around 1930. Another story says that it was created for Marjorie King. This was a famous actress and apparently she only drank tequila. And from what I understand, they named it Margarita because that was the closest thing to Marjorie. Another thing worth mentioning is that there were cocktails in print named something else, but they were margaritas. Take the Picador, for example from the 1937 Café Royale book. There's also a recipe for a tequila sour from 1939 in this book. Some say that the margarita belongs to the Daisy cocktail family. A Daisy is a spirit, citrus, and a sweetener in the shape of a liqueur. So with that said, it's good to know that margarita means Daisy in Spanish. But nobody really knows the origin of the margarita, that's for sure. So now you know absolutely nothing more. You're welcome. The Tommy's Margarita was created in the 1980s by Julio Bermejo. He was working at his family's restaurant called Tommy's Mexican Restaurant in San Francisco. That restaurant has been around since 1965. For their house margarita, he started out by switching out the mixed tequila that they were using, because it's cheaper, for 100% agave tequila. And then at some point, probably to keep the cost down, they cut out the curacao or the orange liqueur and substituted it for simple syrup. Julio had this brilliant idea to substitute the simple syrup for agave because, you know, tequila is made of agave, so it made more sense. I'm gonna start with three quarter ounce of pure agave. Three quarter ounce of fresh lime juice. Two ounces of your tequila. Salt or no salt, or maybe a spicy rim? How do you take your margarita? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so the Skinny Margarita was created by this crazy lady, <laughs> Bethany Frankel. She started a company called Skinny Girl, and one of her products was a pre-batched mar skinny margarita in a bottle. I've never seen that bottle in any bar that I've worked at, thank God, but <clears throat> if somebody orders a skinny margarita from me at the bar, I will make them tequila, lime, and a splash of agave. So basically, it's a Tommy's margarita, but with a lot less agave. The history behind the Cadillac margarita is really murky, but if I was to guess, I would say that it was created sometime during the 80s or maybe 90s. I honestly don't know exactly when and where it was created, but I'm just gonna tell you what it means today. The bartender will most likely ask you what tequila you would like, and in most cases, people will order a really high-end tequila and sometimes even a Reposado or Añejo, meaning an aged tequila, which is more expensive. And then also most commonly used is Grand Marnier for the orange liqueur, and that's it. It's just a very fancy margarita. I usually make it the same way that I would make a regular margarita just using these high-end products. I think the most expensive margarita I've ever made, not ordered, that I've made was $125. Hey, if you have the money, right? Three quarter ounce of Grand Marnier. A quarter ounce of agave. Three quarter ounce of fresh lime juice. And two ounces of your favorite tequila. Okay, so before I show you how to make the spicy margarita, I just want to give you a quick recap. Tommy's margarita, agave, tequila, lime. That's it, super easy. And the skinny margarita, and this is the reason why I didn't make the skinny margarita, is the exact same thing. You just cut down on the sugar, you cut down on the agave, so you can fit into that dress, or you're on a diet, I don't know. And then for the Cadillac margarita, here's where I want you to go nuts. Get the fanciest tequila you can find and some Grand Marnier or your favorite orange liqueur. You know, to be honest, like a Cadillac margarita is whatever you think is the best margarita. Personally, I think that some people think if they can just get the most expensive stuff, it's gonna be the best margarita. I don't necessarily agree with that. Try different tequilas, try different orange liqueurs and find out what you like. That's all that matters. So now for the spicy margarita. Here's my little secret weapon. This is a chili tincture I made myself. Whoop, whoop, whoop. 
all of a sudden super spicy. And that's how you make a spicy margarita. And if you want to learn how to make this, check out this video. I'll see you soon.